Lesson 14, we are dividing decimals with a remainder using place value understanding and relating to a written method. So we're going to relate it to our written method here. Let's look at our directions. It says, draw place value disk on a place value chart to solve. Show each step using the standard algorithm. So we're going to go through the place value disk first. Let's add in our disk here. So we have five ones. Our five ones. Then we have three tenths, and seven hundredths, and two thousandths. So let's go ahead and divide all of these evenly. If we were to divide five into two groups, we would have two in each group and one remaining. So we have two holes in each group and one hole remaining. So what we need to do with this hole is regroup it as tenths. Since we can't evenly divide this by two, we're going to regroup it. One hole or one one can be regrouped as 10 tenths. So if we're talking about money, $1 is equal to 10 dimes. So now we have our 10 tenths that we regrouped plus our 3 tenths to give us 13 tenths. So let's divide those 13 tenths evenly by 2, and we'll have a remainder because 13 is a odd number. We have 1 in each group, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now we have 1 tenth remaining. So what do we need to do with that 1 tenth? You guessed it, we need to regroup it. So now our one tenth is going to be regrouped as 10 hundredths. So now we have 10 hundredths from our number that we regrouped plus our original seven hundredths to give us 17 hundredths. So let's go ahead and divide those 17 hundredths into two groups. One, two in each group, three in each group, four in each group, five in each group, I added three to that group, I add three here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight in each group. We have one hundredth remaining. You guessed it. We need to go ahead and regroup this one hundredth as ten thousandths. All right, so now we have our one hundredth that we regrouped as ten thousandths. And now we're going to separate our ten thousandths plus our two thousandths for our twelve thousandths into equal groups. I see a group of five here. One, two, three, four, five, and I see a group of five here. One, two, three, four, five. I have two remaining, one in each group for a total of six thousandths in each group. So if we look at this, each group, this is group one right here and group two right here. Each group has two ones, six tenths, eight hundredths, and six Thousands. Let's write that in on our line. So we said two and six hundred eighty six thousandths. Now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing, but we're going to do that in a standard algorithm. And we discuss the acronym and a way to remember it. Students and I, we come up with does McDonald's sell burgers raw? D is for division. M is for multiplication. S is for subtraction. B is for bring down and R is for repeat. So let's walk through those steps. First, we're going to divide 5 divided by 2. You can divide 5 by 2 and get 2 in each group and have 1 left over. So that's my division. Multiply 2 times 2 equals 4. 5 minus 4 is 1. That's my subtraction. Now we're going to go ahead and bring down our tenths. So now this is where we regrouped. Remember, we had our 2 in each group for our 2. We went ahead and multiplied and said that there's four total and we have five. So we subtracted that one. That's our multiplication and our subtraction. And then what we did was we regrouped this one one as 10 tenths to give us originally our 13 tenths that we would have here. Now we're saying, all right, how many times does two go into 13 without going over? And we can just skip count two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. That would be six. Forget your decimal, lines up. Six times two is 12. Subtract, you get one, and then I'm going to bring down again and repeat back to division. 17 divided by 2, 8 is my answer there. 8 times 2 is 16. Subtract, 17 minus 16 is 1. Next step, bring down, I get 12 again. So now I have 12 remaining. Remember in my thousands place I had 12, and I divided it by 2 into two groups to get 6 in each group. So you can see how. This division directly relates back to what we did on our place value chart. Going to the next question. 
All right, this question says solve using the standard algorithm. So we're going to go ahead and write it out. And if you need the steps, write them out. How many fours can I get out of zero? None. So how many fours can I get out of five? Well, five divided by four is one. Four times one is four. Subtract five minus four is one. Bring down 17. How many fours are in 17? Four. Four times four, 16. Subtract, bring down your six. You get 16, and we know we just had four groups of four in 16. All right, so that's your standard algorithm. Please make sure that you are fully aware of what the directions are asking. This told me to solve using standard algorithm. Here, I was asked to do two things. I was asked to draw a place value disk on a place value chart to solve, and then show the standard algorithm. So I did have to do both. I would suggest that if you're more comfortable doing a standard algorithm, you do that first. If you're more comfortable doing the place value disk, go ahead and do that first. Either way, I hope this video helps. If you have any issues, make sure you address them tomorrow during our homework review time. And as always, like and subscribe. See you tomorrow.